Japan just delivered fully performing female robots. Japan is changing. A rapidly aging society, a record breaking influx of visitors from overseas, and more robots than ever. We're here to keep you up to speed on how the nation's robotic revolution is shaping the Japan of tomorrow. Let's take a look at the latest happenings in the Japanese robot sphere. Big Tech Enlisted to Tackle Risky Railway Tasks The robot looks down at the main tracks, its metallic arms resembling something out of the Mobile Suit Gundam anime series. In the cockpit below, its human operator maneuvers the robot into place, seeing through its eyes above as it approaches the high voltage wires. In response to Japan's labor shortage, West Japan Railway Co. JR West, is developing humanoid robots like this one to handle maintenance and construction work, specializing in dangerous places. The railway operator hopes to officially put the robots to work in the spring of 2024. The operator steers the robot from the cockpit, near the ground, so they can work safely on tasks high in the air, said JR West President Kazuaki Hasegawa during a news conference last month. The railway, which is headquartered in Osaka and operates an extensive network across western Honshu, has been mechanizing routine maintenance jobs that pose a risk to workers, such as checking the wires above train cars and other electrical jobs. But the company also wanted to increase its usage of machinery in other capacities, especially in places that can be hard to reach or dangerous, such as cliffs, slopes, and areas near powerful electric currents. JR West plans to reduce the amount of human staff doing dangerous tasks by around 30%, with the aim of reducing workplace accidents from falls and electric shocks. The robot itself is attached to a crane truck that travels along the tracks. The operator controls the robot from the truck's cockpit, monitoring the operation through goggles that carry a video feed from a camera attached to the robot's upper half. From the cockpit, the operator's responsive controls can sense weight, resistance, and other sensations from the robot's arms, allowing for a more intuitive operation, Hasegawa said. Japan's robotics boomed amid pandemic. Japan's robotics market is booming thanks to the need to avoid in-person contact amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Demand for robotics was led by manufacturers before the pandemic, but customers have been increasing among service businesses such as logistics and medical firms. The surge in robotics demand has led to a boost in manufacturers' investment in advanced technologies, such as image processing and artificial intelligence, to achieve remote control services. The robotics market is expected to grow from around 1 trillion yen in 2010 to some 10 trillion yen in 2035, according to an estimate by the industry ministry. In particular, demand from the service sector is likely to grow over 13-fold, overtaking that for factory automation equipment. In May, Kawasaki Heavy Industries Limited and Sony Group Corp said they would set up a joint company to develop remote robot control technology. The tie-up will utilize Kawasaki Heavy's expertise in industrial robots and Sony's sensor and image processing technology. The two companies believe that demand for automation and labor-saving will continue to grow with the spread of remote working. The new company will start services for manufacturers next year, expanding its customer base to include logistics and medical services operators in the future. Tokyo Electron Device Limited has developed a system that uses image processing technology to perform complex tasks, such as picking and sorting irregularly shaped items. The company recently set up a space at its office in Yokohama to develop and demonstrate the new Vision robot system. Hitachi Limited, in April, acquired Kyoto Robotics, an intelligent robotics startup. It plans to utilize the startup's artificial intelligence and 3D recognition technologies to automate warehouse work. Logistics have great room to grow, a Hitachi official said. Pulling the plug on the Pepper humanoid robot SoftBank Group Corp has suspended production of its Pepper robot, shelving for now a project Masayoshi Son once personally championed as a symbol of his conglomerate's ambitions in AI and technology. The Japanese company halted assembly of the $1,790 robot in August after inventory piled up, but may decide to resume production in the future, a SoftBank spokeswoman said. The firm is now in discussions with its French robotics unit, which employs about 330 people, on potential job reductions, she added. According to an earlier report that cited unidentified sources, SoftBank plans to cut roughly 50% of those positions in France by September. Pepper, SoftBank's first foray into robotics, was marketed from 2014 as a home companion and store assistant. 
Touted as the first machine endowed with emotions, the company promoted Pepper aggressively from the US to Japan, promising the gadget was sophisticated enough for tasks usually handled by clerks, receptionists, and translators. While the robot was capable of expressing human-like body language, maintaining eye contact, and engaging in limited small talk, it never caught on. Now, it looks like Pepper, assembled by Taiwanese iPhone maker Han Hai Precision Industry Co., is destined to join Honda Motor Co.'s soccer-playing Asimo and Sony Group Corp.'s Curio Humanoids as the latest cool but impractical robot to come out of Japan. SoftBank's Robotics Group was created through the 2012 acquisition of Aldebaran Robotics SA. Its French engineers were said to have clashed with managers in Tokyo, including over complaints about unwieldy software. Pepper's main selling point, the Emotion Engine, became a stumbling block after engineers found the robot pivoted between different states too rapidly and unnaturally. It was reported that only 27,000 units were ever made. In 2018, SoftBank introduced a more practical robot called Wiz that cleans floors for businesses. Although Pepper can move on wheels, it typically remains in place and lacks the sophistication of Wiz's movement. According to SoftBank executives, people frequently asked if Pepper could vacuum when the robot debuted. Fukushima College Robot Wins Prize for Nuclear Decommissioning A robot created by a technology college in northeastern Japan recently won the top prize in a robotics competition on the theme of the decommissioning of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The Mehikari robot of Fukushima College earned praise for its speed as well as ability to employ different methods to retrieve mock debris similar in size to that at the plant, the site of a nuclear disaster triggered by a massive earthquake and tsunami on March 11, 2011. The robot completed the set task in about two minutes, the fastest time, in the annual competition aimed at fostering future engineers that was contested by students from 13 colleges belonging to the National Institute of Technology. This competition was the fifth of its kind. Students from 14 teams from the colleges across the country, such as in Osaka and Kumamoto prefectures, were tasked this year with developing robots to remove fuel debris from the plant, organizers said. The robots were required to pass through a four-meter-long pipe, land on a pedestal, collect balls representing fuel debris situated 3.2 meters below, and return within 10 minutes. The robots had to be remotely operable without a direct line of sight. Also, according to the contest rules, radio waves could not penetrate certain sections of the field, resembling the real-life situation in which the Fukushima Daiichi plant is covered by thick concrete walls. This meant the teams had to transmit directions by wire when the robots passed those areas. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, the teams submitted videos of the robots' performance to the organizers in advance. They were evaluated based on speed, accuracy, and originality of retrieval method. AI, drones, 4K cameras, new tech boosts security systems. Shortages of security personnel in Japan have prompted adoption of technologies such as artificial intelligence, drones, and 4K video cameras. One example is a virtual AI guard from security firm Seacom, tested at Tokyo's Ogikubo Hospital in October. Meanwhile, Sogo Security Services, known as ALSOC, has been installing 4K cameras at locations like the Tokyo Skytree Tower to test their ability to monitor the surrounding environment. Moreover, a prison in Yamaguchi Prefecture is using Seacom's camera-equipped drones on patrols, flying designated routes via global positioning systems. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.